Hey guys, what is up? Thought I might have a look at Alwar's Awakening, which is a 8-bit Metroidvania. Uh, it's got a lot of puzzles and side-scrolling magic goodness. Developed and published by Elden Pixels in 2017. It actually got a follow-up called Alwar's Legacy. But in 2020 they um, have a much more updated, still pixel graphic style in that one, but I don't know much about it or this one, to be honest. I'm definitely going into this blind, but they both have pretty positive reviews, and I've been excited to give them a try. So, we're gonna jump in. The land of Alawa was once a beautiful and peaceful place filled with vivid lakes, clear skies, and lush forests. The people living there were free. They took care of one another and together ensured the safety of the land. But one day, the peace was broken. Someone wanted Alwa for himself, and a mystical being known as Vi uh, Vika defended from above. Vika? Vika. Armed not by weapons, but instead driven by hate, he slowly began to enslave the people of Alwa. No one could escape his reach. Vikar formed the Protectors. Together they sought to claim the ornaments, which are said to give their owner immense power. The ornaments had always been in the hands of the people. Safe from evil, with them captured by Vikar all seemed lost. Under the demotic reign of Vikar, the people of Alwa were helpless, and his evil quickly spread throughout the land. The village where the ornaments were kept was destroyed and hope was gone. Soon began a darkness that would last for centuries. But things are about to change. The people of Alwa have chosen to fight, and from another world a heroine has been sent for has been sent for. Has been sent for saving the world. <laughs> Forsaken Valley. Wake up, Zoe. The eternal flame must be lit. Hello, Zoe. You are in the land of Alwa. I am Saga, and I have been bought. I have brought you here to help us. Alwa has been enslaved by evil, and we, the people, have lost our strength and courage to fight back. We cannot do this alone. You must help us. You are stronger than us, and in time you will uncover your true strength. You must enter this tower and go all the way to the top in order to find the magic star. When you have found the staff, quickly make your way back to town. But watch out. There are many dangerous foes out there. Okie dokie, Grandma. Oh wow, it's a floaty jump. Um, does water kill me? I guess there's only one way to find out. Yeah. That's a positive. Death count one! That's not fair, come on. Everybody's going to experiment there, surely. Um. Okay. I just realized my avatar was frozen. Whoop. I do love this art style. Okay, skeleton man, you're not going to do much down there. What a poor existence. That'll be the staff. You found a magic staff. When you hold it, you can feel there is something really special with this. Okay. Use it with attack to fight enemies and to destroy certain walls. You're free, skeleton. Not anymore, bye.
I love that animation. <laughs> Tree man. Or Mandragora is, maybe. Mandragora. I don't want to jump up there with you, you're gonna hurt me. Ooh, can I jump down the well? No. Amber Sack. Sack. Sakelm? <laughs> That's the one? No. Hello? Go and light the flame in the center of this room. Doing so will let you start from here if your adventure comes to an end. A bonfire. I uh, don't know whether to go up or right. Oh, that answers that question. Up it is. Don't know if there's any secret walls. It's a Metroid Vayner, it has to be, right? In fact, if I ever put one anywhere, I put it there. Because why else would you have the thorns there? My logic was sound. Good music. Good gameplay. Good art style. Got three stars so far. Eh. Yeah, I didn't think so. I can reach that. No. What is the point of that platform? Hmm. Oh, okay. Good control in the jump, I like that. It's not super precise Castlevania style uh, jumping or anything like that. Driving? Castlevania driving? Whoa! Can I do that? Oh man. Huh. Oh! Okay. Uh, do we have a map? Not yet. No map found yet, okay. Fair enough. Second fire. Uh, what's down? Warp activated, oh, okay. Thought cuts. Hello, sir. Beyond this door, you will find Amber Sax. Oh, I'm going to stumble over that word every time. That's the, um, the first step on your journey, and there will be to find a green gemstone and a very powerful enemy. When you have found the stone and defeated the evil, go back to town. This town? I mean, found town. This dungeon is very dangerous, so you will need a map. First, you should go talk to Platt in the town of Westwood and pick up the map. Do that, and I will let you in. Okay, cool. Does this take me to town? I have not discovered it. So am I a human from the real world born into this world or what? Why am I more powerful than everybody else? 
These and more questions can be answered if you play the game. A void Tower, that sounds like fun. The town of Westwood. Hello, old man. Welcome, Zoe. Oh god, everybody knows me. This is the town of Westwood. Thank you for coming to the land. I didn't have a choice in the matter. You have been sent for, the, uh, sent for because we are weak. You must help us destroy the evil that threatens our land. Go back to the cave just outside town and talk to the knight. He will open the entrance. Yeah, if I get a map. There you will find a green gemstone. Yeah, yeah. But before you go, enter this house. Buy map. Go dungeon. Defeat enemy. Oh, he's black. I thought I was going to have to buy the map. Okay. Not the, uh, uh, not the most uh, best map I uh, <laughs> Yeah, I have this map with four skulls on it. Okay. Interesting that it hasn't filled in. Or does it have its own map? Or do I have to go back and fill in the areas I just did? That's weird. Oh my god, what are you? Hello, I am Oriwaru. Welcome to the town of Westwood. I know a lot of things, so come talk to me whenever you need help. When you are strong enough, go to the Gloom Lake. You will then unlock the entrance to your final challenge. Jeez, that's a little getting ahead of the game. If you go all the way to the west, you can find a key that unlocks the door to the mountains. Ooh. Cool. Do not stare too long at the light. What? Okay. What? Sounds ominous. This bridge is broken and you cannot pass, but if you have the green gemstone, you can create a block that lets you pass. Okay. Uh, mm, sure. Hang on. Ah, okay. Never mind, sorry. I was distracted by the flashing text at the top of the screen. Yeah, it's a weird floaty jump, but it feels satisfying. So I don't know if, um, I assume Alwa's, um, legacy is a sequel? I don't think it's like a remake or anything. But it looks very pretty. But the 16, uh, the, sorry, 8-bit art style here works just as well. Now that you have the map, you are ready. Go get the green gemstone. And then use it to cross a bridge in town. <laughs> I want the blue gem. That would be the green gemstone, I'm guessing. Ooh, here we go, we finally get a blue gem. Bam. Backstab. He... Door. Gem. Oh, that's not the gem, that's just literally a brick. Ooh, jeez, okay. Okay. So what, use this to block the flame? Or is that going to destroy the block? Oh. Not on your Nelly.
easy. I mean, it's the first dungeon. I shouldn't be gloating. Eh. Um. Geez, this dungeon's bigger than I thought. That's going to be quite enough. Ah, oh, I see. Green brick for a green switch. Uh-huh. Oh god, another split in the path. Um, hmm. Let's go left first. Uh, I was wondering if we're going to get back here. And yeah, I do. I have to remake the map. What the heck? Yeah, that's quite strange. Okay, it tells you how many orbs. So there's seven orbs in this area. Cool. Don't know what they do yet, but... I'm sure I'll find out. I don't think I could jump off the ladders, but I can't. Um, let's go left. Another key. Ooh, key. Oh, okay. If I fall down, is that going to hit me? I feel like it's going to hit me. Ouch. Aha. E. Oh, well, is... Okay. That answers that question. Um, oh, okay. Oh, can I make that? Ooh. I don't know how I did not hit my head on those spikes, but I'll take it. I can't even do this, can I? All that danger for nothing. What a gooseberry I am. Oh, that is really hard to to do. Yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Damn. Okay. <gasps> don't look at me. Don't. Don't look at me. I have to go left again, don't I? Assume? Right. No, no, I have the key still. Okay, cool. It's not like a complete reset when you die. Good to know. Let's see if I can not noob this up. I don't know how I'm going to get that length, not jumping that high. Oh. A cannon man. Now, that links... No, it does not. And I can't go up there. I keep misjudging the jumps. There it is. A green gem. glows with a mysterious light. You place it on your staff, and it fits perfectly. 
Now you can hold up and press attack to create a gemstone block. Every time you create a block it uses magic so you have to wait for your magic meter to be refilled before you can create another block. Loop. Cool. Okay. Now that unlocks a lot of paths, obviously. Mostly forgetting my blue gemstones. Doesn't mark them on the map, does it? That's a shame. Relying on my memories. Not a good thing. Can I create more than one? Any one way to find out? No, I'll test it before I jump around. No, I can't. Hmm, okay. I'm on a tradition. A waiting animation. I can't remember where that other gem was. Not this way. This is where the key was. Anyway. Oh, well, I'll leave the collecting gems for later, seems I don't even know what they do. I don't know if it's just a collectible thing or if it's actually going to lead to upgrades or what. Can get this one. Actually, can I do some trickery? Ooh, can I kill you? Nope. You sure as hell, kill me. Oh, I spawn again. Jeez, that's weird. I only just tap the A button. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can't find a boss. question every jump I do. Do I need a green block? Aha. Ooh, that was nearly too early. Another torch. Yes, please. I wonder if the boss is going to incorporate green blocks. I assume he would have to, right? Oh, how come that one didn't... I thought it was crumbled and I thought it was going to fall. New. Oh, I did not even see that up there. Oh, you're going to make this room fun, are you? Crap. Dead. No. The gemstone is mine. Oh. Wait. What? <laughs> I got a st hmm? Maybe? Oh, just. Oh, no. I need to read the room better. Can 
not patient enough, I don't think. Okay, so how do I handle this this time? Let's try and be a little bit more careful. He says, you know, we're getting smashed by a fireball and forgetting and doing the exact same mistakes last time. Oh, I learned nothing. Be a man with brain of baby. bit more careful. I just need to climb instantly, I think. Climb. Hmm. I can only guess how hard this game gets in, like, the end dungeons. Sorry, buddy. Yes, I saw you at the last second. Mysterious individual. Have you seen any blue orbs? I sure have. They are very powerful, and if you see any, you should try to collect them. The more you have, the more powerful you become in fighting the protectors. There's also a treasure hidden somewhere in this dungeon. You should really try to find it before you. Oh god, really? Was it like hidden? boss door if ever I've seen one, as indicated by the map, but what's this away? Oh, it's an exit. Like... Um, so where haven't I been? Up and down, down there. Oh, who wants me to find it before I leave? Back down there. Oh man, you just spam that. Okay. Oh no, I can't even go back. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> it's boss time! Health, please. Thank you. Okay, let's see how this boss fight's gonna work. How dare you enter these chambers? Why have you come to this land to destroy us? We have done nothing wrong to you. You should show Vaikai your divine honor and respect. He is the only true deity. But enough talk. How about you? Oh god, ew. Oh, I did try to dodge that. Okay, I get it. Oh, I can destroy my own brick. Noted. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Oh! Attempt number two.
Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus, okay. Second phase activated. Oh, I touched his leg, are you kidding me? Hitboxes are a little bit unpredictable. I have you this time, fiend. Leg was very close to me. <laughs> oh, come on. Haha. <laughs> Hit win. Save door. Guess we're gonna get something later on that opens that. I assume. Maybe. You have blue stone. this thing I missed. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so I never went right here. Oh, oh this looks like a fun place. I was expecting that turret to go off, but it didn't. Haha. -ha. Is that the treasure? Mm, okay, well, how do I get to it? Ow. Haha. -ha. You found a copper coin, it looks really shiny. Cool. bit more. Ooh. Oh. Well, I don't think I'm getting up there, am I? I can fall down further. Hmm, I guess I'll come back later then. Another secret one. Okay, let's get out of here. Nope. 
So I wonder what the other two gems will do. What other type of movements do we not have yet? What other classic Metroidvania puzzle solving things? I don't think I'm going where I think I am. <gasps> oh, actually that might work out. Yes, I meant to do that, so I can get out of the dungeon quicker. I'm so smart. Hmm, yeah, that was quite enjoyable. Parts are pretty simplistic, but that's just with one puzzle. Uh, one puzzle solving method, I suppose. Once you get two, and then it starts mixing them together, and then three, and it starts mixing all three together, I'm sure it becomes quite a conundrum. And I wonder if it. I guess both platforming and puzzle wise, it'll. has potential to get quite difficult. Alright, I've made it to the end, so I'm going to call it quits there on the video. Um. Yeah. Very curious to see what the uh, other one's like. I'll probably... Yeah, I think I'll do a video on it. Eventually. Um, so yeah, if you like this, and you like any other Metroid... Well, definitely recommend the Metroidvanias. I love Metroidvanias. I'm a humongous Castlevania nerd, so any recommendations, really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!